I'm a mammal with an armor shell so tough the bullets bounce off me. A few years ago, a Texan tried to shoot me and was hospitalized when his bullet ricocheted and hit him in the face. You may know my cousins, South American anteaters and sloths. We are the only surviving families of ancient Sinothran mammals. Our origins can be traced back to the Paleocene as early as 59 million years ago in South America. I am a living dinosaur. Armadillos are the only mammals on Earth with their own suit of armor. Our name came from Spanish, meaning little armored one. Humans call me a nine-banded armadillo. My species lives in North, Central, and South America. Nineteen other armadillo species live in Central and South America. They inhabit grasslands, rainforest, and semi-arid areas. The smallest is the pink fairy armadillo, usually weighing about four ounces, and the largest is the giant armadillo, weighing up to 120 pounds. Three-banded armadillos can curl into a ball and protect themselves from predators. I wish I could do that. Like most of my relatives, I am designed for digging and do so constantly. My burrow is typically eight inches wide, seven feet deep, and 25 feet long. I sleep 16 to 18 hours every day and forage above ground mostly at night. My sensitive nose can detect food through eight inches of soil. I lap up grubs, slugs, worms, and insects with my sticky tongue. We are sometimes considered pests because we mess up gardens, you know, uprooting bedding plants. Uh, but we actually are beneficial to the environment, consuming invertebrates that cause the most damage to crops and lawns. I am one of the few animals that eat fire ants. We dig only where we smell something tasty to eat, and our activity irritates the soil. We avoid dry soil and areas that are sprinkled with repellents, such as pepper dust. If you want us to be your best friend, put out a few earthworms in some damp soil in an empty flower pot. We will dig in that flower pot, leaving your bedding plants alone. Folks say that we are fun to watch. Although we are nearly blind and have poor hearing, we have no trouble navigating using our nose. We also feel our way around using coarse hairs on our face and undersides, similar to the way cats use their whiskers. We have a low body temperature and slow metabolism that is about half the metabolism of other similar sized mammals. Some folks say that makes us primitive, but it actually allows us to get by on very little food and oxygen. Pretty important, since our heads are in the dirt most of the time. My armor is made from plates of horn-covered bones that are so heavy that I can walk along the bottom of a stream. But if I want to float across a lake, I swallow air to inflate my stomach, giving me temporary buoyancy. Pretty cool trick. Folks in Texas like me so much that I was named the official state small mammal. But some people call me a Texas speed bump. They joke about using cars to run over me. You know, that's not nice. The main cause of my road death is not because of car wheels running over me, but rather when I'm startled, I automatically jump three to four feet in the air and hit the undercarriage of passing vehicles. Sometimes people eat me, saying that I taste like pork. 
calling me possum on the half shell. In the American South, some recipes call us Hoover hogs. Folks blamed the Great Depression on President Hoover, and so they called us by his name. No respect for a living dinosaur. We are solitary animals that spend our lives foraging alone and only interact to breed and care for our young. Females give birth to identical quadruplets in the spring. After birth, the quadruplets remain in the burrow, living off their mother's milk for about three months. Young armadillos forage above ground during the day when mother is sleeping, being the best of friends, warning each other when danger is near. After our first summer, they become independent and disperse. They are rarely seen during the day after maturing. Similar to human beings, we can carry leprosy. Scientists believe that people transmitted the disease to us about 400 to 500 years ago. Transmission of leprosy from armadillos to human beings is rare. It requires close contact with the animals and their saliva. The best advice is to avoid unnecessary contact. In Texas, two cases of leprosy have been documented from eating raw or undercooked armadillo. The thought of eating armadillos makes me shudder. Please don't do it.